Individuals with extraordinary abilities may already be among us. McTaggart, you really think that some crackpot scientist is going to make me believe in sparkly dames and vanishing men? I didn't really expect you to believe me. One of the many spectacular things my mutation allows me to do is that I can read your mind. Are you going to ask us to think of a number between 1 and 10 now? <laughs> no, Agent Striker, although um, I could ask you about the Jupiter missiles America are currently placing in Turkey. You brought a damn spy into this facility. How's that for a magic trick? Best I've ever seen. You know what? I want to say thank you for this movie. You know why? Because it's made me a fan to go back and watch the other ones because now I can piece everything together. Nice. That is cool, fantastic. Man. That's great. I love that. Thank That's you. what we're hoping for. That's amazing. Yes. So tell me about the process. I mean, you two, the chemistry has to work. You're doing your thing. How did it feel when you were making it happen? Worrying? A lot of the time, because you don't know if it's going to work out, and you know there's a lot riding on it, because other movies, you know, were loved and made a ton of money, and uh, you hope that, that yours can as well, and we knew, I think, from the start, that this movie, you know, apart from the, the, the effects and the action and the cool characters and the mutants and all that, really rested on uh, the emotional drive of that relationship, and if we got that wrong, the movie would be missing, you know, a vital element that gets you through two hours. It makes, for my money, two hours go by really quickly. The real enemy is out there. I feel their guns moving on the water, targeting us. Go ahead, Charles. Tell me I'm wrong. Fire! yourself we're the better men this is the time to prove it there are thousands of men on those ships that's just following orders i've been at the mercy of men just following orders never again mm -hmm. now because you're playing characters that people have seen previously on screen did you go back and sort of like take a sneak peek at the you know other X-Men movies? Yeah, definitely. I watched um, all three of them as soon as I got the job. I, I, I got them out again and revisited them. And um, and there was that point in time where I thought I was going to sort of, you know, um, study Ian McKellen and sort of try and get any old you know, films w with him as a young man and try and sort of get his voice down, his physicality. And then I spoke to Matthew in, uh, I think, our first meeting or second meeting, and he wasn't so keen. He was more interested in me sort of... Um, uh, bringing my own voice and 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 my own physicality, so we scrapped that idea, and then I just sort of really just dived into the the comic book material and and, and gathered all the information from that. Now, you guys, big fans of comic books, comic book movies, you dig them, or is this just you know? Eh, I, I like comic book movies. Anyway. I like comic book movies if they're good, but I never grew up with comic books. It wasn't really a thing in my neighborhood. Me too. My parents tried to get me to read anything, and I was pretty slow at sort of picking up a book. And I think I was about twelve or. When I started reading, that was Winnie the Pooh. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, an, it's an amazing book. It's a great book, dude. It's I mean, it's still book. up there in my top ten. Um, and so, you know, that sort of got me on the journey to actually reading books. And my parents I remember on a Sunday, uh, you know, going to the news agents and they'd pick up comic books for me, and I'd never read them. And they were like, "What's wrong with you? Every boy enjoys comics." So no would be the, sh the yeah, shorter that's answer. A, that's that a great way to get to that point, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not. A you're gonna get four other great, questions that was, in that, there. That, was, that was a great setup. But. Still can't locate Shaw. He's down there. We need to find him now. Here's what we do. Three, two, one, go! Man, she's got a location on Shaw. You ready for this? Let's find out. So 
though, if you if you could rock a power, if you could do, you know have anyone at your disposal, I mean, what power would it be? What do you want to do? How would you bring it? I'd like to make people be able to fall in love. Yeah, yeah. Cupid. Uh, yeah, no, no, or, 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 <laughs> amore. <laughs> Not bad. I, I, a combination of the two may work. Amore. Mm. <laughs> I think that's a lot more sort of socially conscious than, than what I would choose. I'd be very selfish and I'd like to fly. I mean, that could be, that, that should be a lot of fun, really, I'd imagine. No, it would be. I if mean, I made you fall in love with me, though, you could just fly me anywhere that That's you? true. Exactly. Because you two would combine it, you know, the power yeah. of falling in love and the, and the power of flight, and then you could use it quite often because those are... And know, then we could just spray love, love all, all the over the universe. universe you know? Yeah, 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 just drop it on. It'll go from country to country. It'd be like sort of like the, the love version of Santa and just, you know... <laughs> <laughs> and just Santa spring, love. Spring, Some spring love coming down people. your chimney. No, exactly. But no, speaking of love... Love the movie. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Thanks man. man. Thank no you. Problem, man. Cheers. Nah, it's good, man. Thank it's you very much. Love it, love it. Follow us. Follow us. Follow us. Follow us.